Okay, we are back. Uh, we're back. I'm going to show, before I show a couple of videos, uh, I want to ask my colleagues, do you have any comments you want to make uh, related mm -hmm. to that study or anything else uh, or questions you want to make? We're going to get to questions in the audience also. So help me look out for questions and comments in the audience. I didn't look at the chat so well, but anyway, any comments before I get to some of the uh, videos? Some of these videos are going to show, but it'd be pretty impressive. Um, and I know, Dr. Acton, you've seen this before. Let's take a look at the first one. Uh, this Are shows, you currently using this, Dr. Montgomery? We, we're we just, uh, we're going to start using this uh, within the next week. Dr. Atkins has been using this okay. for years, and he's going to share his experience with this. Uh, but we plan to start using this uh, within the week, and we're going to start integrate this. Uh, I'm going to share some of the protocols we're going to add to uh, our treatment session. But we, we plan to start very soon. Let's take a look at this uh, uh, image here. Breathing. Breathing is the first thing we do when we're born and the last thing we do before we die. We can stay alive for long periods without eating, drinking, or sleeping. But if we cannot breathe, we die within a few minutes. Oxygen cannot be stored. It must be replenished continuously and steadily. Once inhaled, the oxygen makes its way to the lungs and hitches a ride with the red blood cells. Oxygen gains access to the body's cells through an internal network of vessels. Your heart is a champion. It works non-stop 24-7. Your heart electrifies itself, maintains blood pressure, and acts as the major pump to get your blood moving. The heart, together with the entire network of vessels, are known collectively as the circulatory system. Although it's easy to think of these vessels as a glorified plumbing system found behind the walls in your home, blood vessels are actually active, dynamic organs capable of contracting and expanding as they deliver nutrients and oxygen, carry away waste products and help maintain blood pressure, Along the way and further from the heart, the blood vessels become smaller and smaller, like branches of a tree. By the time blood reaches these small areas, the big pump and push that the heart supplied could use a little help before reaching their target tissues. And though it may appear as if the blood doesn't have to travel far at all, the blood vessels, if strung together, would equal a length of 100,000 kilometers, or 75,000 miles. That's enough to go around the globe nearly two and a half times. So the pump and vessels together make a closed system that begins and starts at the heart. The same five liters of blood cycles through your body all day, every day. To make this long journey, our blood vessels rhythmically contract and relax. This greatly assists the delivery of oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to all organs and tissues. This vasodilation process is vital to normal functioning of our entire body. Every part of our body needs blood to deliver oxygen and nutrients. And just like the trash man, we need blood to take away all the built-up wastes, such as carbon dioxide and lactic acid. The rhythmic vasodilation and vasoconstriction doesn't always work as well as it should. Lifestyle factors and age can play a role slowing down the heart's important helper. Diet, exercise, sleep, and how many candles on your birthday cake are all contributing factors. What happens is, because the contractions of the smaller blood vessels aren't occurring as frequently, there is less oxygen and nutrients being delivered to organs and tissues. This also means there is less waste being removed. Over time, this can lead to dysfunction. If the dysfunction accumulates for a long enough period, Many cells and tissues become chronically stricken with waste buildup. In addition, these tissues are also forced to contend with prolonged lack of nutrition. You may start to notice this in a variety of ways, such as a lack of energy, 
poor fitness, and challenged sleep routines. Beamer therapy devices promote the foundation for health and for more than two decades have been developing patented technology aimed at providing a non-invasive, non-chemical mechanism for the improvement of blood flow. So that gives a nice overview of the circulatory system. And this next video is going to be a little bit shorter, but it's going to show um, actual uh, laser Doppler images of uh, microvasculature uh, and show some before and after flow. I think this is going to be pretty impressive. Uh, hold on. Oops. Beamer before and after comparison during an eight minute treatment. Changed function condition of microcirculation after stimulation of locally and superior regulated vasomotion. Initial conditions. No vasomotion, slow blood flow, hardly any supply of white blood cells and the capillaries are not perfused. Just after the beginning of the Beamer treatment, you will see minor vasomotion, a minor increase in blood flow. Capillary is gradually being perfused and aggregation of red blood cells dissipates slowly. During the Beamer treatment, it indicates strong vasomotion, quick blood flow, and an increased supply of white blood cells. Immediately after the Beamer treatment, notice significantly increased vasomotion, quick blood flow, and nearly adequate supply of white blood cells. For comparison, let's take a look at before and after the Beamer treatment. Once again, before the Beamer treatment. And now after the Beamer treatment. So there you have it. You get um, a nice overview of you know the circulatory system, how things work, and and those are, are real images that are taken uh, before and after treatment and using some of the laser Doppler and light spectroscopy uh, technology that I talked about earlier. So um, anybody, a Dr. Atkins, you have quite a bit of experience with this, and um, you know share with us your experience and and. Um, you know, your take on this. And if you want to add to any comments I've made, uh, feel free to do so. Well, um, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, The um, we have been using the, the Beamer, I guess, over five years in, in our facility. Uh, and mainly because we wanted to use it as a therapy to uh, improve blood flow. You know, uh, we always talk about exercise and circulation, and it's important. But you know, the take home point I want the audience to understand from this is that circulation is everything. If you have circulation, not only do you get the nutrients to the tissues that you need and oxygen, but you also remove waste. So the Beamer has a, a, a side effect to be able to detoxify as it well supplies the nutrient value to your body. And, you know, as a podiatrist for many years, one of the biggest issues we saw with patients was the peripheral vascular disease, which means you're feet and legs, which are the most distant point away from your heart, are the last place to get blood flow. And so you start developing problems. And you know, I guess we mentioned earlier when we talk about the 
you know, blood supplies um, not only the tissues and the blood vessels, in, in, especially in diabetes, you see a lack of supply to the skin. And that's when you start to have a skin breakdown, you have diabetic ulcers, you have uh, hyperpigmentation, you have all these conditions related to a lack of oxygen to the tissues and a lack of nutrients to the tissues. But also when you have a lack of nutrition or oxygen to the tiny uh, nerves in your feet and your fingertips and hands, those nerves tend to go to sleep and we call that peripheral neuropathy or it's a numbness in your hands and feet where you don't feel anything, you have a, a good sensation. Um, you also can have a, in the circulation to the, you have actually vessels that supply other blood vessels, we call them vaso, 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 vaso. Yeah, they apply to other blood vessels. So if you cut off the supply to a blood vessel or even supply to the heart, then you get, you know, uh, dysfunction there. So uh, all those things lead to the breakdown of tissue in the hands and the feet, and we see it. Um, same thing with the eyes. Retinopathy is another thing with diabetes. Small blood vessels that supply the retina and, the, and your eyes tend to get clogged up, can they get blocked up, and therefore you start having vision issues. So we see people when they have high blood sugar levels, and I'm using diabetes as this one example, this applies to any condition. Uh, I don't want, people should understand that micro, that this technology is not just for a condition or disease, but it's for overall wellness. And if you can increase circulation and keep it at a high level, then your body will take care of itself. It'll get the, the um, immune cells that we need to circulate to the places they need to get to to fight the infection. It also get the oxygen to the areas that it needs to be able to produce energy because energy is a big thing, but you have to have oxygen to the tissues to produce energy. And the, every mitochondria in our body is waiting for that oxygen. And if it doesn't get it through the blood flow, you know, you, you fatigue, chronic fatigue, um, um, all of the conditions is related to uh, fatigue issues. One of the, in our facility, we, we would do the um, uh, approximately eight minute treatment and eight minutes sounds like a short period of time, but let me tell you, you could do eight minutes and I've done it myself for a number of years. That was my regimen, eight minutes twice a day. Uh, but not only do you feel rested after you do that, but it, it really energizes you, you know? Uh, so, but the, the, the one of the, the big things that when we'd have uh, patients or clients come to the office and they would do the beam of treatments, they would say, they would go home that night and they would say, this is the best sleep I've had in weeks and months. I haven't had this best sleep in my life because the relaxation uh, that it does to your body also helps you sleep well at night. And that was something that was kind of unexpected um, because there are, um, uh, with the technology, there, there are settings that you can use to be able to, uh, it's a sleep mode on there that you can actually run it throughout the night, but you let it run at a very low frequency and it helps people sleep. So it's another tool to use instead of, you know, taking a, a, a medication route that have a side effect of, you know, you walking in the dark and out in the street and driving while asleep and all those kind of things, which we not healthy or safe. So we've had some great experiences with it uh, personally, as well as with patients. You know, I, 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 um, We've been talking about beam of technology, but you know the real technology is called the the pulse electromagnetic frequency, which is oh. a, a pulse frequency that stimulates blood flow. But what what Beamer does uh, when you use a pulse magnetic frequency, the, the technology has been around for maybe forty years. It 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 um, has about three hundred cycles per second to increase blood flow, where the Beamer technology does the same thing but it has about 1200 cycles. So it gives you almost four to five times greater efficiency increase in blood flow than, than other technologies. And I've, I've researched technologies two years before I invested in a Beamer just to see um, what really worked and how it worked. And I was just impressed with it because although they do the same thing, none of the other technologies compare to that. Um, uh, Beamer is, is a patented technology. And again, I'm not trying to sell Beamer, but I'm just saying if I'm going to talk about it, I want to talk about the, the, the top line of technology when it comes to helping people. And, and that's what we've seen. You know, there are a number of questions that came up and um, uh, someone asked about lymphatic drainage. Uh, what effects does this have on lymphatic drainage uh, from what you know, Dr. Atkins? Well, it's going to improve lymphatic drainage also because, again, lymphatic drainage is a result of fluids being pushed into the capillaries or arteries and perfusing tissues. And so, and then it goes back into the system and the lymphatic system and, and drains out. So if you can increase that blood flow through the tissues and, and perfuse the, um, the tissues at the end of the capillary system, arterial system, you're going to get a, a better drainage. You're going to get, and then by adding things like massage to it, 
uh, you're going to really improve your, your lymphatic clearance. So I, I think it's a great tool for that. It, again, it's just an assistance for what your body needs to do already and can't do because of, you know, poor diet, poor nutrition, and lack of exercise, um, and, and those kind of things. Now, someone also asked a question about vibration plate and circulation. We know this is not a vibration plate, but uh, we're talking about electromagnetic fields. Uh, this is a little bit of a tangential question, but either of you have any experience of vibration plates or the benefits well, thereof? Just, just to tie in with the lymph, um, the, the basic lymph drainage, rebounding, vibration plates, these kinds of things are going to help with, with lymph. Um, for the people who are asking about lymph drainage. And, and you can also do lymph massage. You can actually do massage that actually targets like moving lymph around your body. But massage in general is helpful for lymph drainage too. So so massage, rebounding, lymph drainage. So, so it'll be a synergistic treatment. So again, you know, it's not necessarily one magic bullet, but synergistic uh, therapies, uh, depending on what what can benefit you. Yeah, I have a question though. Dr. Flo uh, Dr. Atkins, um, is um, you were just mentioning pulse, and I actually, you know, I researched this because I was putting together. This is when I was putting together a treatment plan for my dad, and he's doing really mm -hmm. well now. And I was gonna have him do this at some point, but it. So is pulse different from this Beamer thing, or it's just mm -hmm. a diff? Uh, it's an older version of it. I'm confused about that part. Well, the pulse is um, the pulse are sine waves that they have put together that's supposed to improve circulation. They have, you know, they have a sine wave called a sawtooth wave. They have a, 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 a up and down sine wave, a traditional sine wave. But a beamer wave is an oscillating wave that vibrates about twelve hundred times per second, and they uh -huh. use it to carry. It's a carrier wave for pulse therapies. So it will give more pulse frequency to the tissues, so it increases the effectiveness of it. Uh, Beamer is developed by this this uh, scientist in Germany. It's actually it's German technology, and he invented the, and patented the um, the uh, Beamer technology, the, the Beamer wave. It was it's what it's called. Uh, it's patented in five different countries, so they use that as a carrier wave. And that's the only difference uh, between Beamer and the other waves. But the Beamer is a carrier for pulse waves. And then what they do is they can actually uh, label. Uh, pile on maybe three or four different pulse electromagnetic waves on one beam away. So you're not just getting one wave, you're getting three or four waves at one time. And okay. so it affects people in different ways. And that's why it's so effective in, in all parts of the body. Some some of the pulse waves, they work better in skin. They might move, well, other pulse waves work better in organs. Other pulse waves work better in, in, uh, my, in maybe in the hands and the feet or um, in parts of the brain. But with the Beamer technology, what they found out, and this was, you know, I. I I did the research on it. And there are a lot of uh, abstracts in, in um, PubMed that talks about the technology and how it works. And there's some specific things about Beamers what I liked about it. You know, they talk about pulse electromagnetic, and most of uh, companies will give general information about how it works. But Beamer has specific uh, uh, test results or studies that show their particular results. So yeah, it, it's really good. I, you know, I, I use it on my father-in-law. I've used it on my mother-in-law. You know, on ourselves. But you know. I think using it consistently, you know, mm -hmm. memory function because it increased circulation to the brain mm -hmm. also. You know, you know, when you lay on the mat, you do it that way. You don't, they have other devices that you can use uh, for, for different uh, treatment regimens. You mentioned you use it yourself too. So like, it's, I mean, is there a reason why the treatment is, is so short? Is, would too much be a bad thing if you... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, so Sosa wants to walk around in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a beamer jacket, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you well, know. They have a beamer belt. They have a belt that you can put around your waist so people have low back pain or people really? they get stiff back and, and their back gets stiff, lower back, and they put it around your waist. And you, I mean, you got a, about an eight foot core you can't walk too far, but at least you can get up, you can move around, you can put it on your shoulder, around your neck. What it does is increase circulation in those areas. So it warns you, it, it removes uh, the lactic acid buildup for people who work out, but it helps with it helps with inflammation because it, it's really, uh, by increasing that blood flow, if you're eating that alkaline diet like we should be eating, you, you, you'll re reduce inflammation. And so it will help that way. But, um, so but yeah, did that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah, oh. so basically a healthy person can do it. Uh, 
And it sounds like there might be a cap to how often I should be doing this if I'm a healthy person. Well, you can actually sleep with it, right? The floor yeah, about you sleep, sleep with it. Healthy purpose is needed if you want to stay healthy because, because everything in our life is really slowing down our circulation. I, I, I look at aging as a function of decreased circulation and, and the cardiologists can tell you all about that, yeah. you know, because as you age, it's uh, everything is a decrease, you know, whether it's memory loss, whether it's cardiac function, whether it's mobility, whether it's muscle circulation, everything yeah. goes back to that, you know, aging with the skin. It's a lack of blood flow. And, and, and so it all comes down to that. But I don't think you can do too much, to be honest. I do. I, I one time I was doing 16 minutes three times a day. Wow. Uh, I, and I would do more. And, I, and you put on sleep mode, which is a very low mode. And you can okay. actually go to sleep on it. You know, we've had... Uh, clients who put it in their bed under their sheets and they put it in so when they get in bed they put a have a sleep uh mode on it put it on and they sleep through the night like like you know like what's those medications those sleep medications that <laughs> it sounds like you know, a grounding they, mat on steroids like it just sounds yeah. like really in like it would do way more than a grounding mat yeah well it's complimentary and, and, to grounding but yeah you're right it's it's like uh yeah. it's using electromagnetic frequencies of the earth and it oscillates these frequencies that's the pulsation right. that you get Super and cool. the technology says that the the, the frequencies that the beamer map puts off is not any greater than say, the frequencies that the earth is putting off so you're not like getting bombarded with super amount because what they found out is you don't need a lot it's not it's not the intensity that works it's, it's a consistency that works because one treatment, one eight-minute treatment is supposed to have your circulation, your, your capillaries open up for eight to 12 hours. Wow. And the more you do it on a daily basis, it lasts longer and longer. So just one, you know, one eight-minute treatment. So if you do that once a day, at least you go next 12 hours, you're going to be doing really well. Now, what and so you want to drink your water. Somebody has, yeah, so what happens if someone's chronically dehydrated, they have low iron, they have low B12, or they have low nutrients that generally would you know, impair circulation. Well, you said the first thing I need to hydrate. One of the yeah. one of the criteria to doing this is to hydrate. You have to drink water, and they recommend doing a mineral uh, mineral water or actually spring water because when you increase circulation, one thing that we see is that the more uh, tissues are demanding the again blood flow. So then, if you are already nutrient uh, deficient. Then you're gonna get less minerals to tissues, especially muscles. And people can have cramps. So one of, one of the side effects they've seen from a beamer therapy. The only major side effect is sometimes people get muscle cramping, but that's mm -hmm. only because they're already uh, mineral deficient. And mm -hmm. when you increase blood flow, then it just it just dilutes the mineral content in your body. So you want to do your minerals. You can do your 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 uh, green powders and green drinks that are mineral rich, like your spirulinas and your your Corelli, your, your moringa, whatever you want to do that way. Or just do spring water, but water is, is is a key because it also is a flushing technique going through. So you need that extra water, and when those capillaries open up, then your your central pressure can go down a little bit. Okay, blood pressure that was another um, mild to moderate reducing in blood pressure after you do beamer treatments for a certain period of time. There was a study on that. I don't have that, but uh, that was one thing we looked at in our facility. Um, on a more anecdotal basis to see with and, people. And, and you're getting greater flow to the microvascular, so that's an overall decrease in systemic resistance of flow. And so when systemic yeah. resistance of flow goes down, then then uh, blood pressure goes down and, and, and stress on the heart goes down. That, there was a yeah. question on biomagnetic therapy uh, as well, Dr. Atkins. Do you want to, is there some biomagnetic therapy we need to differentiate from this? Somebody asked about biomagnetic therapy. I'm not familiar with biomagnetic therapy. Um, <clears throat> Maybe using uh, magnets or something like well, that. Well, I, I, I don't know <laughs> what he might be referring to, but the word beamer stands for bioelectromagnetic energy um, um, regulation. Okay. That's what the word okay. beamer stands for. So it's a biomagnetic therapy if, 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 for short answer. Yeah. Okay. So it's a form that. So it may be the same thing. This may have the terminology a bit different. Now, uh, yeah. someone asked about melatonin. Uh, Otis Granville asked about melatonin. I mean, that's a sleep aid. It's something produced by the pineal gland. Uh, and I guess that question came up related to improvement of sleep. Um, what are your thoughts on melatonin, anybody? 
<laughs> I don't really <laughs> like my clients to get hooked on melatonin. Sometimes it can be helpful, like if you're traveling a lot and you need to like support yourself, you know, changing time zones and all that stuff. But I find that sometimes people get dependent on it. Mm -hmm. And so I prefer to use like magnesium and natural things and talk to them about their stress and why their thoughts are running, you know, late at night, maybe you should journal before you sleep, you know, maybe you should, you know, just listen to, you know, ocean waves or whatever it is. The turn off the light, the cell phone, the blue light you're getting from the cell phone light therapy. People yeah, so that gets into sleep hygiene, Dr. Montgomery, where it's like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, is your room too hot? You know, you know, do you, are you staring at your phone before? Because a lot of these things are small, but they add up and most people don't pay attention to them. So I try to address all of those things in addition to how late someone's eating before they sleep. There's so many factors that can affect people's sleep. I try to do that versus giving them melatonin as a Band-Aid and then, you know, hoping that they can weed themselves off of it. <laughs> <laughs> so the Dr. Atkins walked away. So I asked about uh, who, please find healthy, you should not. You know, I, that's a great question. Great question. Healthy, uh, so this is the you, Dr. Atkins, to find healthy. Uh, some people think it's the it's simply the absence of a defined diagnosis. I don't think that's the case. What are your thoughts? Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. Repeat the first part. So uh, is there please define healthy? Who should not be using the Beamer unit? I think it's just uh, the, the main question, who should not be using the Beamer unit? But I want you to define healthy. So is there somebody who shouldn't, who wouldn't benefit from it, I imagine? Um, there is, um, there are very few people that wouldn't benefit from it because, you know, exercising, uh, would be a good option. Um, that's one thing that, that Beamer helps you in is increasing blood flow. So anything you would do to increase blood flow would, would, could potentially replace a Beamer. But again, it doesn't replace microcirculation. You know, if you're eating, say for instance, animal products or high, uh, foods that are, are, um, in, in, in fats, whether they're plant fats or you, you're eating um, any other toxins in your food, whether it's pesticides, herbicides, things like those things will clog up your system over time, but they have to be detoxified or flushed out or cleansed. And microcirculation is, is, is hard to get there. Now, again, that's why we age over time. I tell people, when you don't get old, you get toxic over time. So, you know, a, you know toxicity is a function, the major function of aging, whether, so when you have memory loss, when you're having um, um, a shortness of breath, fatigue, that's, you know, muscles are not functioning properly. That's where the fatigue comes from because you can't even produce energy. Uh, brain function again, cardiac function, you know, which ends up in heart failure. That's, mm -hmm. that's uh, all of these things that add up. So if you want to do something proactively to maintain optimal health, uh, that's something that you can include in your, in your, in your program, I think. Um, but that's like I said, it's again, it's not not specific for disease. Dr. Atkins, um, so like I have generally low blood pressure. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. I, and I heard you say that if I did the Beamer, that the blood pressure would go lower. And, and I feel like mine is already so low generally that it probably wouldn't be a good idea for my blood pressure to go lower. Well, no, low is a relative term. Your body's going to adapt to whatever your normal perfusion. It's not so much the pressure, but the perfusion. So your, your body is going to maintain whatever the blood pressure needs to maintain unless you're taking something to lower it or unless you volume depleted, dehydrated. So, you know, you know, we say high blood pressure, low blood pressure. You know, somebody with a blood pressure 120 over 80, that blood pressure probably can still be improved. Maybe it needs to be, you know, 105 over 65. Right. Or 100 over 55. Right. So it, these numbers are kind of relative. Okay. So you're saying that yeah. we'll out? <laughs> no, and 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 I can't explain any better than Dr. Montgomery. But yeah, your body compensates for it. it, it okay. It. One thing I want to say about the melatonin is even people take melatonin. I agree with you uh, that uh, it's uh, it's also that that taking it, people get dependent on it, and the more they take it over time, it tends to work less. And mm -hmm. people don't realize that when you do melatonin, you have to do it in darkness that you take the medicine but if you're in a room that has any amount of light in it it's going to be less effective or not effective at all so people actually the melatonin it didn't work you had the tv on all night or street lights in the room and all those kinds of things so you know things people have to know about that they they think something's wrong but but again the, the relaxation it gets your 
mind slowed down, you know, moved to Costa Rica somewhere. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out for Costa Rica. Here's someone who wants to uh, reverse <laughs> the LVAD heart device. LVAD stands for left ventricular assist device. These are uh, uh, pumping uh, devices that are implanted in the uh, chest uh, and it helps circulation. This is for people with advanced heart failure. And the generic answer is yes, uh, there are people who've been on LVAD devices <clears throat> and they've been taken off LVAD devices. And, uh, some of the more common cases I'm aware of are young people who have a viral cardiomyopathy or some transit form of heart failure. They get on the LVAD and then uh, the heart improves. The LVAD goes off and the heart improves. I've had, uh, I don't treat LVAD patients normally. When someone has an LVAD, normally they're treated by an advanced heart failure cardiologist. But we have had people come to our clinic in our health center with LVAD saying, hey, get me off this thing. Uh, and usually I try to coordinate their care with the advanced heart failure people because they're the ones that, that work with it. I do recall one young man who had an LVAD and he said, yeah, I would turn it off for a couple of hours and turn it on. And, you know, he didn't feel any different. I wouldn't advise that because, you know, these things can clot your own blood thinners. But, but the answer is, and generically speaking, yes, but it's not a common thing. Uh, but if you want to be, uh, if you have an LVAD, you want to be reversed, you want to do an intense uh, optimal nutrition and, and therapy intervention, have uh, a, a natural um, uh, integrative cardiologist um, like myself or someone else working with an advanced heart failure cardiologist, both of whom are willing to sort of work with you and weaning you uh, from that device. Um, let's see here. So these frequencies say for those with poor diets, except, you know, if you're on a poor diet, I mean, this is thought to be a synergistic uh, therapy. Now, the study that that I shared with you, these people were not on a, uh, you know, they were probably on a standard Western diet. They were in Germany, so they were eating, you know, dead animal flesh and various other things. So they did get improvement. So the answer, I think, generally speaking, it is safe, but you want to make sure you're hydrated and your diet is not too uh, outrageously bad. But you know, people on the standard American diet, which in my definition is a poor diet, uh, can tolerate this treatment. But but you want to look at this as an adjunct of therapy, not as sort of the, the savior therapy. Uh, and so you want to be doing a lot of different things. That gives you the best chance for the best uh, results. Uh, toxicity can prevent sleep too. Yes, that's kind of a, a good message, take home message, a toxic diet. For us, melatonin stopped working. Then we discovered it wasn't good for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then here's uh, this is great information. Diet plays a huge role. Uh, and then thank you so much, uh, everybody. So final words. Uh, it's also your takeaway message for our group before we sign off tonight. What are your final thoughts on this technology, but this whole subject in general? Well, I think the technology is super cool. It sounds like <clears throat> the best way to use it is like you were just saying, like it needs to be done in tandem with diet. And it sounds like you can use it to optimize your optimize your nutrient absorption, but you got to give your body the nutrients it needs. You got to give it enough fluids and you shouldn't just use this again as like another Band-Aid thing, but it sounds like it could really help people, especially who are having like, just need some drastic, you know, improvement in their blood circulation. And then it sounds like for people who, you know, are um, generally just looking to optimize their health. If they're getting the minerals and vitamins and, and the water they need, this is another way to just allow that to actually percolate <laughs> faster. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, great adjunct to therapy. I agree 100%. 100%. Dr. Atkins, your final comments. Um, well, again, I, I think it's a great tool just for... Um, increase in blood flow because again blood flow is everything in our life and we need to really optimize that at every opportunity we get so um uh what i would say is you know you can use the technology you, you know yourself i know dr montgomery that you you're looking into starting in your facility where people can pay and just have sessions just like you would have a massage sessions you can schedule on a periodic basis you know you want to do a, a, a number of sessions in a row to to see the benefit of it but and then doing it on a, on a recurring basis, that will be very helpful. Like people get massages because it will have that benefit. And, uh, you know, if you really can appreciate it, you, you can go further and um, just get the technology for yourself. Because there are some tools, I think, for health and wellness we need in our household, just like we need a blender, a good Vitamix blender for, for 
preparing foods or technology for that, but you have to take care of that also. And the, and the benefit when it comes to detoxifying and cleansing your body, I think with this Beamer, is it's a, what I call a cellular detox. It detox on the cellular level. It's getting things out that, you know, that uh, olive oil may not necessarily do. <laughs> and, and it certainly works right uh, where the food works. And, and the last couple of questions um, about um, a detox drink. I think any super green drink, we talked about things with uh, you know, spirulina, green algae, green smoothies, uh, uh, cold pressed juices, um, uh, E3 Live. Someone asks, is a prescription? You can actually purchase one through a Beamer distributor. Dr. Axis is a Beamer distributor. Uh, and uh, you can get this. Um, uh, just go to beamer.com and just look on their website and they can get you with a Beamer distributor. Uh, near you or reach out to Dr. Atkins uh, and uh, he can work with you on this. It doesn't require a prescription, but they do uh, sell through um, certain uh, distributors. Uh, as usual, this has been a great show. Uh, thank you guys. I'm going to see you backstage uh, and uh, thanks again for your contribution uh, as always. I'll see you all shortly as I close out. Um, and uh, of course, another uh, great show in my opinion, of course, I'm biased, but you know, the Beamer therapy, as we pointed out, is uh, an excellent uh, technology that helps improve circulation at the microvascular level. And uh, I think it's something for you to really uh, consider, especially if you're, if you're diabetic uh, or if you have uh, circulation problems that are, that are already diagnosed, uh, if you've had any kind of, uh, you know, vascular treatment with stents or bypass in the lower extremities or in the heart, uh, you very likely have microvascular disease. But you know, if you consume the standard American diet, you're trying to make changes, this is a technology that can enhance uh, your overall input. So I think uh, you should give it some consideration uh, and, um, and, and look up the data yourself uh, and make your own opinion regarding this. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, show. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't had a chance to do so. Uh, and, uh, of course, share this information with loved ones, friends, and anyone who you think may benefit from it. Until next time, keep it fresh, natural, and live.